Hello again and welcome back after I have finished the activity list for this project engineering procurement and construction and you have known how to do the WBS and how to break it so what's left to finalize such schedule in such cases you're going to see a summary as you scroll here you're going to see that the engineering will finish by the middle of July let's say 10th of July it's written here 11th of July actually and the procurement when it will start when it will finish this also can help you on this tough plan by meaning you don't need the engineering team from day one until the end for sure there's sometimes the as built drawings or sometimes you just keep only some stuff even after the construction for only the as built drawings and the closing out with the project but you don't have to keep all of this stuff here so this helps you well when shall you hire when shall you let them go to another project or according to your organization structure so here it works as you see that some uh, construction it starts even before the procurement and how is that possible because we have said that some materials do not need we just uh, we just add in the procurement log the long lead items or the most important items but some materials can be easily purchased from the market so no need for the whole procurement process no need for each and everything just the procedure might buy it at once so you can commence and start work directly so now this is the summary this one is used and this one is very helpful for reporting as well so now what about fine tuning the schedule so what does fine tuning the schedule means it means simply make it easier for a non-planner or a non-scheduler or for anyone who didn't do the schedule to read it easily, to understand easily. Especially the higher management. You, mo you must care about the higher management and the management. So now how to do such things. Usually the higher management or the management overall, they prefer a milestone summary. So what's a milestone summary and how to do one? It's the exact same. We will start by the milestone. The milestone it's an event of occurrence, either a start or an end of the event. So for the project, we have two main milestones, which are it's it's we can add a milestone the same way exactly as we add a new activity. So how we are turning this new activity into a milestone, you're going to see it now. So the first milestone that every and each project have for sure is the project start. And the second milestone again, which is in each and every project is the project finish. But the milestone does not have any time. So why the original duration shown here is one and how to, how to maintain its zero. But first, just to keep consistency, we might make this PS for project start, or we just keep it milestone, mile, stone, 1000, and this one would be milestone, whatever you wish, whatever you make it easier for you, and even others, you can explain this to them, just do it. So to change an activity to milestone, we will go to the activity tab here, which is, by the way, this is shown only by pressing this button, which is showing the activity details. If you press another one, you're going to see the resources distribution, activity uses distribution. This one will show you the histogram. So here we are seeing only the activity details. So to change it, we are going to go to the general tab. In the general tab, you'll find this is project start, so you'll make a start milestone. It automatically changed to zero, and as you see, this one it changed as well. And this one would be a finished milestone, and it again will automatically be zero. I don't know why it comes before, but if we run, everything will work fine. So here the project start, it's the first thing in the project. So we will assign the first activity in the project, which is this one. And the project finish is the last activity in the project. 
So project finish, we can relate all of the activities to project finish in case if one activity has an open end, which is not related. But for sake of easy, and to make it easier for you, we are only related for now at least. Uh, you can search for the successor by writing the search name. You are going to delete this, for example, then write project finish. You already know the name, and here it is, project finish. You link it. And now you are ready and clear to go with the first and the most two important milestones. So let's